Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be looking at uh, making a corset. I know many people know how to make it already, but I just feel like just chipping one or two ideas you might add to your own. And again, making this my corset, I'm trying to make it so that you, you might not necessarily use a, a bra cup inside. So that is the idea. And the little idea I want to add again, remember when we are making our blouse, I, I, I talk about shoulder that is the boss divided by five. But in making a bossier, what um, the corset, what I do is I add on a half inches to whatever answer I have. So the boss for this person was 40 divided by eight. I mean, sorry, divided by eight. I'm supposed to have five inches. So I add extra one inch. That was how. You can see the shoulder that is wider. And another thing again, at the waist here, remember when I, the waist, I say I use one and a half that for my waist, but because I'm working on the corset, I use two inches extra that. So the that here was two inches. So now, at, at the waist side, these two inches here, I'm supposed to remove it here, but what I have here what is I remove one and a half. So I'm left with half inch extra that I'm going to remove that half. Inch. I'm going to show you, and at the under bust here, instead of me to from remove, instead of me removing two inches here, because I'm making a corset, I use two and a half. So you can see, you can see this idea for if you are making a bust here, just a bust here. You can see use this. It's it just to make the bust more pronounced. Another thing again, the whole idea of a corset. Is to lift the bust and make the waist area a bit clingy to the body. That is the whole idea of a corset. So I'm going to close this shoulder. That you know how I do it. So I'm going to cut it like this now. There are different ways to make a corset. This is just one way of it. I'm going to close the shoulder now. So this one we are going to have like this. So don't forget, I'm still having an extra half inch that at the waist here. So remember how I say to analyze your style, what I advise is you fold it into two like this. So we are going to be using just one side. So if you look at this now, if you look at the waist here, I have one dart here and I have another dart line here. So at the front, I'm supposed to be having two dart lines. But you can see I only have one dart line, so I'm supposed to make another dart line. And then the back also, I'm going to have two dart lines. This is the back. If you can see, I only have one dart line, so I'm supposed to introduce another dart line. So we're going to do that together. So first of all, I'm going to make this neck. Now, if you look at this neck very well, it's supposed to be a sweetheart neck. But if you look at this, when of pointing deep here, yeah, it has like a straight edge here. Yeah, before you now have the sweetheart neck effect here like this. So <clears throat> if Let's say from here to here, I'm using like one and a half inches from this point to this point. So I have to divide that one and a half inches by two because I have folded it into two. That means from the center of this cloth to this point here, I'm going to measure three quarter. That is one and a half divided by two. We just have to note every little details here. So I've known that this point is three quarter now. Now I have to know the break point. Remember how I showed you to measure the break point for the previous video. So a break point is 10, 10 and a half. I'm using 10 and a half. So I have to measure the break point first. You can see these lines here. They are, they are different now. So we have to bring all lines down to this other side. So what I do is I shape it like this. Because I'm using a, a biro, if you're a person, I'm supposed to have erased this off. So I'll shape it like this now. and I'll measure the shoulder. The shoulder is 8. Remember, I've closed the shoulder that. The shoulder is 8. So this is 8 here. Our front chest 
is 7. This is 7. So I'll shape it. You can use your French curve. But I, I know how to use freehand also to get a perfect shape. So that is the arm. And this is the shoulder here. So you can see I brought all lines to this point here. So I'll measure the break point now. Like I said, our break point is let me use 10. So we'll be, let me use nine and a half. Let me use nine and a half. So it won't be too low. So this is a break point here. So remember from this diagram now, what I you can look at when we're doing a sweetheart neck. I always say like this is X, this is Y point here, and this is Z, the highest point here. You can see this that if you trace this that up, it's coming up like this. So it's supposed to go up like this. So this point is why. So I'm going to assume my Y is here, or you can measure it on the person, just to where the where to cover her bust. So this is Y, this is X, and at the ammo here, this is somewhere here should be my Z. So let's have this blouse does not have sleeve. It's like a tube, so it won't be on the ammo. It's going to be at the bust, at the side here. At this side here, that is where the Z part is going to be. So I'm I'm going to try and connect all three points together, like this. Let's say for for this Y point here, I'm using this this one. I'm using this is Z and this is X. Remember our X is three quarter, so I have to measure three quarter here like this. Or well, let me use half. You know we are just let me use half. So you can see it comes straight, it comes straight here like this first before it now rise up and descend down like this. So it's going to rise up like this to this S uh, Y point here, like this. It can be sweet at neck, depends on the neck you want. I'm just doing this because I've done sweet at neck the last time. So it's going to the Y is going to descend to the Z point here, like this. So that is how you make the shape of the neck. This point can be any measurement you want to use, it doesn't matter. There are roller sets used for making curves like this, but at the same time, I can also use my hand. That's why I'm using my hand. <coughs> so you can see the shape like this now. Because whichever way you want to make your shape. Now, remember, I'm going to move my dart here. So I'm going to use two inches for the dart up here. Yeah? So I can use, you know, remember, we normally use one and a half. I can use, I mean, one inches, I can use one and a half, I can use it two inches. Depends on what you want. So I'm going to use one and a half. Now, I measure three quarter here, and I'm going to measure three quarter here also. That is one and a half. I'm going to join it to the boss point now, like this. I'm going to measure both that line to make sure they are equal up there. So from here, I'm going to measure from here to here. From this dart up here to this board point, this is 5. I'll measure if they are the same thing. I see 5 is coming up here. So I'm going to reshape this one now, so that both points will be balanced. I'm sorry, I don't have my. I'm using a battery for just a pencil. I would have easily erased it. <coughs> so if I cut it out like this, you now cut this that off. This is what we'll be getting. Shape like this. Because I'm using a biro. It was a pain. I erased it to get a proper shape. Like this. So this is how you can just make your tube. So make a tube. So we are going to the back now. Now if you can look at the back now, you can see that this point here at the side here is same place going to start at the back also. Like this. I can make sure it's 
So we don't have to assume the measurement. From here to here is eight and a half. So from here to here to be eight and a half also. This is my eight and a half like this. Now if you can look at this diagram, but we can see that this is the x point. This point should be the y, and this is z. You can see that from x it dips slow. It dips slow like this. So that means it's going to dip low like this. I'm going to dip low like this. I have to follow the style I'm making or the picture or the diagram, whichever one. That is what I should be working with. You can see it dips low like this. So I'm going to remove the darts here, half inches. Now for the back, I was supposed to, when I, from the waist is nine, I'm supposed to add one inches for the dart. But because I'm making a corset, I added one and a half. You can add two inches if you want to. So I've removed half inch here first. So I'm not left with one inch. So I don't want to remove the one inch here. Normally I'm supposed to remove half inch here. So I share the half inch and remove the half inch here. Like so I'm left with extra half inch dart. And from the picture we have here, I'm supposed to create another dart here again. So from this dart, I'll make sure like, I want to use like three inches inside. You can use the, whatever you want. I'm using three inches inside. Uh, two inch, uh, yeah, three inches. I'll make sure three inches up here. Yeah. I'll shape it like this. And I'll remove the remaining half inch here. I'm going to remove it here. So I do like this. So I'll join it to the ammo line. Like this. Join it down to the ammo line like this. Bring it down to the ammo line. You can see like the diagram we have now. We now have two darts here. This is one two. Now remember in the front part, I still have extra half inch that I've not removed. So I'm going to remove that one. So I want to form this this boss, this corset shape here. Like I said, the whole idea of a corset is to lift the bust up. That is the major idea of the corset. So, for me to do that now, I'll make sure from this bust point here to the under bust here, what I have here is um, 4 inches. So I'm, so, I'm going to measure, let me explain, from this bust point here, to the under boss, I'm going to measure the distance. And what I have here is four inches. So I'm going to measure the four inches round like this to create this shape we have here. And the same thing, I do it here also. I'll measure from the boss point here to the under boss. I have four inches. I'll measure the four inches here like this. Because I'm using a barrel, that is why if not, I would have been raised it up. So, like I said, the whole idea of the corset is to lift the bust up. Now we have done. Now this is this shape we have here. Now we remaining this dart. Now this is this dart here is this one here. So we remaining that. So I can just just where I did to the back. I take my measurement here like this. I'm using ten inches, and I extend it up here like that. That half inch and I remove it at this point here. So I'm going to have something like this. I'm going to join it up here. So now I'll cut it out like this. Remember, I'm going to add one inch that at the side. If the corset has joining at the side, then I'll add one inch that at the side like this. For corset, I have joining at the side, and then the back also, I add one and a half inch for sewing allowance. Sorry, sewing allowance. I said that, sorry. So I cut it out like this. If the corset has joining at the side, there are some corset that doesn't have joining at the side. So I'll cut this out like this. Remember, there's no yoke. And I add my zip allowance if you are using zip. For this, I'm going to just going to assume you are using zip. So 
have to cut out this point here. Let me just write it point one, point two, point three. So we'll mix it up. Cut out the dot like this. You can see they, they are both equal. So this is point this side is supposed to be like this. Now I'm going to cut this part out like this. Remember they said that here. So I have to cut out the that. This is where you are going to put your boning. What you call boning is in between this joining, you are going to put your boning. So today we are just looking at how to make the pattern for the boss here. So this is the upper cut here. Now, if there is no joining at the side for this, like you are making your boss here, I don't want any joining at the side. So what you say, please do is, you cut out this sewing allowance and just use your cello tape to cello tape it by this if there was no joining. So this side is going to be like so this is the front. Now for this diagram here now you can see that the cup part the cup part of it has its own design like this. There is a line, there is a curved line here, and there's a straight dark line here. Now, if you look at what we have here, let me keep this aside. We're going to cut it. We already have the straight dark here coming up. So sometimes you can, instead of having your straight dark here, you can transfer it to this side. If you want to transfer it to this side, what instead of having your dark line, there are some horses that don't have that like this. Let's assume the let's assume it's like this. You just assume it's like this. This is the cup. This is the cup. Sometimes the dart comes like this, and you have the lower dart like this. This is just a rough drawing. So if you want to do that, what you simply do, we have to close this dart up here and close this dart down here. But for now, for now, let's focus on this one. This one here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have what I call the facing. This is the facing. Of the fabric this is point one this point so i'm going to retrace this out now on another piece of paper on that paper like this i want to make that design so i'm going to trace this out like this Going to trace this one also like this. So I'm going to label this the facing. The facing. We're going to make use of that. Now I want to make this design here. So what I'll do, I'll cover. You can see that I've closed it up here like this. I've closed it up here like this. And see my one of the darts is still longer than the other one. So I just trim it off. It have to be equal like this. So you can see it has a curve like this. So um, both all the lines must be equal. So if I'm using less I'm using three inches for this space here. It has to be three inches all around. Three inches, I'll measure it like this. Three inches. Three inches. So it's going to be something like this now. Okay. 
So this lower part, this point here, is this two here, and this I'm going to solo tape it together like this. Let's assume I've solo tape it like this. Remember, I'm not only added half inch up here, only added half inch up here, like this. So, I'm going to add half inch for sewing allowance here, and I'm going to add half inch at the lower part. So, I'm going to put it up like this now. This part here is this one and this. Why the lower parts here are going to be like this. So by the time we sew them together, we are going to have that part here. So why would this will be the facing? So I'm just going to add half inch. Since I already have space on my paper, I add half inch sewing allowance around. This is if you don't want to use a breast cup. You can see it's a breast cup with this one if you choose to. If you choose to, you can see the breast cup inside. That is the facing. I'm going to cut it out for you to see. I've added my sewing allowance already since I have space. Okay. So this facing is going to be is what is going to control this. That is what is going to control this. So, in my next, vi next video now, I'm going to show how I cut it and the finished product. So, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can ask any question you want to ask or any topic you want me to work on. I want to explain for you to see. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.